Hey everybody, what's going on? Brendan Miller here back with another video and today we're going to be talking about a $44 collapsible rod and reel combo I bought off Amazon. We're going to see if it's any good. So like I mentioned, I was on Amazon the other day and I saw a $44 collapsible rod and reel combo. It's a mouthful, I know. I've always wanted a collapsible rod and reel combo that I could keep in my car, that I could put in a backpack or a suitcase, so I'd always have some sort of fishing pole on me whether I was traveling. So when I saw this thing, I just went ahead and bought it, and here it is. As you can see, it is very, very compact. It comes with a reel and a 7-foot rod, and today we're going to see if it's worth anything. Upon first inspection, this rod and reel combo looks very, very promising. So for $44, you get this reel right here and this collapsible pole, and I will say the reel feels really nice. It is made from metal and plastic, but it doesn't feel cheap. It feels very well built. A lot of metal parts on it that are really nice. I also love the paint job. It's kind of a silver gray with gold accents. It looks really cool. And speaking of gold, man, they went crazy with the gold. You can see there's gold accents all over this rod and reel, and we even have some bling on here as well. But beauty is in the eye of the beholder, and if this reel and rod does not perform well, then it is worthless. So to see if it performs well, let's take it out on the water and test it. This should be fun. Alright guys, so this is what the rod and reel looks like when it is not extended. As you can see, it is very, very compact. You could easily put this into a suitcase, a backpack, you could even put under a rock, or in uh, a charcoal grill. And that's the main reason why I got this thing. I wanted something that was portable, something I could put in the car, something I could put in a backpack, something I could take on a trip. You can see, it's just made of joints. You basically just friction fit it. You just slide it out and it kind of friction fits into place. The first problem I'm noticing with this rod is this right here. One of the line ties uh, kind of came off and is kind of flopping around. There's a little bit of adhesive on uh, the rod where it was stuck on, but it seems like it's totally broken that and it's very easy for me to move it around. I can kind of fit it back into place, but I have a feeling that's gonna be really, really annoying. Every time I come out here to like do a review or something, it's, it's always snowing. This should be fun. And the weather's always terrible, but we're gonna power through and keep talking about this rod. The main thing I'm noticing is how thick the base of this rod is. Um, it's very thick, as you can see. I'd say about maybe a half an inch thick down here at the base, but I get that they have to fit all these things inside of each other, so it makes sense it's going to have to be a little bit, uh, a little bit, a little bit thick. This should be fun. Get on there. Alright, there's the first cast. Alright guys, so the first cast, this little line tie flew all the way up here and was jiggling around. It's definitely not staying in place. That's really annoying. Another nitpick I have about this rod is how many line guides it has. As you can see, as I bend it here, you can see uh, it'd be nice to have a couple more line ties up in here to kind of keep the, the line against the pole. Another thing I will say about this rod is that the flexibility is not the best. Uh, as you can see when I flex it here, uh, the tip is way more flexible than the rest of the pole, and that kind of makes the overall curvature of the rod a little wonky. Uh, I tried this out with just snagging it out on a rock from a distance, and it does have a better curvature at, at more of a flatter angle, but at a sharp angle like this, you can definitely see uh, how lopsided the curvature of the rod is. One of the things I've been noticing while casting this is how uh, and balance it is, how front heavy it is. When you make a cast with it, it almost wants to like fall out of your hand. It's not balanced very well. I think that has something to do with how thick this base is. As somebody who's actively fishing with lures, I'm always casting, I'm always retrieving, and this could get old very quick. If you don't have a good enough grip on this thing, it actually wants to fly out of your hand. All right guys, so I just finished filming out here. I was getting ready to pack up. But one thing I noticed is that this is now officially jammed. It will not go in. I'm not sure why. Um, it's not a good thing to have happen. Uh, it kind of ruins the functionality of this pole, especially with it being one that collapses if it totally jams up, like even the top won't go in. Uh, it might be a problem that's fixable, but you know, if you're in a hurry and trying to pack up quickly, this is definitely gonna uh, slow you down. Almost every guide has come loose now, uh, except the top one. So that's definitely not going uh, to help matters. So guys, what are my impressions of this $44 rod and reel combo? Well. For starters, the reel is really impressive. It feels very, very smooth. It casts great. Everything works well. It has a little bit of a rubbing sound to it, but it's not bad. I've heard a lot worse on reels for this same price point. And overall, I was impressed with its functionality. The rod, on the other hand, was quite disappointing. Um, like I said in the video, it's not balanced very well. It doesn't cast very well. Uh, it's rather bulky. Uh, these little things right here come loose and flop around. 
Uh, it's clumsy to set up. Pretty much everything about this rod says to me that they didn't really take a whole lot of time and care when designing it. Uh, it seems like they just took a good reel and slapped it on a pretty cheap collapsible rod. And that's kind of sad. Now, with that being said, I wouldn't say this product is useless. If you like to fish for carp and you like to fish for catfish and you're going to be doing a lot of just casting your bait out and letting your rod sit, this might be a viable option for you if you want to travel light and so on. But for somebody who's always fishing for bass and is always moving and is always casting, uh, the unbalanced rod and the lack of line guides really makes it difficult to fish with. If you guys want to buy this reel, I'll leave an affiliate link down below. If you use that link to buy this reel, I get a little bit of support. It helps me keep making videos. If you guys want to support the channel another way, you can check out my line of t-shirts. You can subscribe right here, and you can check out my last video right here. Thank you guys for watching this video, and as always, stay hooked. I will see you later.